Oh yeah, I just uh, reached a thousand Rex KC. God damn, forgot about that. First of the three Dagonoth Kings that I have achieved uh, quadruple digits in. Also, Prime is getting there. Uh, Supreme just recently passed 900. And depending on when I get this Blue Dragon task, right, I might be able to get a thousand on on the other two. So, all right, come on. There we go. Just finished that back-to-back Dagonoth task here. Let's bank everything. Let me check my uh, Dagonoth bones collection here. Oh, we got a thousand now. Nice, nice. Stocking up. Probably got enough for like at least one prayer level. So, gonna keep saving these though. Make that stack look even better. Again rates. Oh, elite clues scroll. Nice man. Always, always with the elite clues, man. Makes my day though. Let's uh, just open this up. Here we go. Master clue. Um, 500k reward actually. Not bad, but yeah. Nothing out of the usual though. So, uh, no drop. 1500 raid though. That's crazy. I've done so many raids. Holy shit. But yeah, still looking for them bottoms though. Pretty easy om head there. Good RNG there. Oh my god, we actually got a drop? Are you what? Yes, 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 yes. Dude, that makes the nine day uh dry streak like nothing, dude. That's crazy. Wow. Two drops in two days. What do we have here? What do we get? Oh a dragon hunter crossbow, eh? Oh, oh man, that's my fourth one actually. I'm starting to get I'm getting these pretty often now. I mean I got one recently too as well. Let me check. Is this number four? Yeah, it is number four. Not bad. Onyx bolts. Hmm. Very pleased. I am satisfied with Corp today. Alright, last of the day. Let's check it out. What we get? Mystic World Bottoms. Lol. <laughs> Alright, that's not bad. Gonna do uh, four more sessions. And uh, we'll wrap up with a thousand. KC. We got 88 agility. I'm running a bit low on stamina's. Again. So I got like 20 summer pies left and honestly I don't think I need to make any more even though they're not that hard to make because at 88 agility right uh, with the summer pie and the preserve I will be able to keep the boost for 6 minutes per bite that's crazy dude because if you think about it 10 bites which is 5 summer pies will last me an hour yeah that's that's crazy Actually, now I think about it, I probably need to make a few more summer pies. Alright, so we got 50 marks of grace, that's 500, right? Yeah, that's 500. So that should be over 100 stamina, 4 doses. Mm. That should last me, again, quite a while, right? Ah, skeletal wyverns. Ah, they, honestly, 30 of them, bro, they take forever for 30. Oh, that was easy, I already got the blue dragon test. There's a chance that Blue Dragons actually might not apply to Vorkath because like there's some JMOS tweeting some doubt here and there. I am done with Slayer for now, I guess. We'll be done with Slayer until Vorkath Translator 2 comes out in like less than a week. And yeah, hopefully the Slayer Helm effect actually works. Oh, a Spirit Shield, okay. I probably have like, yeah, I definitely have over 10 of these now. Let me see what we got. Oh, never mind. I'm probably I'm getting actually kind of close to uh, 20 of these, but I only really need three of them though. So, all right, last kill of the day, and we get another spirit shield. Cool. I'm definitely uh, getting close to 20 of these, which I will take. Might as well get that you know banger collection. Found it on addicting games. Yeah, the classic, you know, gaming websites like uh, Mini Clip and shit. Oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my fucking god. Okay? I don't even know what to say anymore. Um, I'm just so shocked. Like, what? Oh my god. I would say I'm pretty damn lucky a corp at this point. 
Wow. This your year, bro. It's funny too because you know New Year's about to happen in like five and a half hours, and we just, I just somehow freaking got a freaking Elijah sigil. Oh man. Make a placeholder in the bank if you didn't already. Look so sexy. Alright, yeah, you you're right, you're right. I should do that. Yeah, you're right. Hopefully, I don't accidentally get rid of it. You know. I'll just put it near. I don't know. Put it here, I guess. There you go. I can't trade. Oh wait, 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 wait. I don't mean. I don't want to make it yet. I'll turn off. I accidentally made the shield, but it was about time I made it anyways. Might as well put it on, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll let you know. A lot of people are saying, "Yeah, where are you gonna even use the divine? Uh, divine? Where are you gonna use the Elijah Spirit Shield? You know, like there's not that many places." And I would say you're kind of right. The Elijah just isn't truly best in slot in really any places. But I'm definitely gonna use it at Corp. Though. That, that's for sure. It, uh, with the method I'm doing, having the Elijah would would definitely save a lot of food, you know, and also probably speed up uh, my corp trip. So I still need to get the spectral, so there's still very good reason to do corp. Also, I'm thinking Rage 2 and all those, you know, newer PVM, I, I see some really uh, interesting potential uses, yeah, for the Elijah. So definitely we'll be seeing this shield a lot, so, in the future. Yeah, I guess we won't be using this anymore. Because the Elijah is definitely going to be better for this method than the uh, Twisted Buckler, so without a doubt. I'm not exactly sure how much better it's going to be, but uh, on average, I should, if whenever I do have the shield on, it should be about a 20% uh, reduction in damage taken, so. Alright, so I just want to demonstrate how I normally use the shield and wand combo. So the wand gives the highest magic defense for a weapon. And uh, normally I pair that with, you know, a uh, high magic defense shield like the Twisted Buckler. But of course the LE, although it doesn't have any uh, magic defense, it has on average 20% damage reduction whenever you have it on. So it's probably better than that 20 or so magic defense I had with the Twisted Buckler. So whenever I am about to eat, I pretty much uh, make sure I have, you know, my wand and the shield on. That way, while I'm eating, you know, I can't attack anyways for a little bit of time. I might as well have the best defense possible, so that way I will reduce as much damage as possible. So as you can see, every time I'm like 60 HP or under, I get ready to eat and, you know, put on my shield and my gold I want, so. So Corp grind continues, yeah. Alright, I am wrapping up the Corp session for real. I did end up using the Elijah for two kills, and... Definitely very noticeable, you know, I definitely take a lot less damage with it As in uh, the, the shield is soaking quite a bit of the damage So yeah, hunting for the uh, spectral would, would definitely be a lot easier at this point A huge upgrade from like the twisted buckler that I had But yeah, I'm still gonna go for the 1000 uh, corp KC goal, so 30 more kills and, and I'll reach it, so Ah, uh, okay. Well, I got a, a longbow. Great. Okay, that should kill it. Alright, last word of the day. <gasps> oh, what? Oh my god, I actually got a drop. Holy shit. Damn, guys. Whoa, okay, okay, well. The, the last raid before New Year's, literally New Year's, two hours away from New Year's. Wow. Goodness. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of stressful, bro. Alright, let's open this up. Here we go. <laughs> Yo, yes, the dragon sword. Oh my god, yes. Yo, that's amazing, dude. Oh my god, the dragon sword. Yes. I honestly didn't want to have to deal with getting the pants today, dude. No, no. We've already had enough of RNG today. I'm done with the RNG. Uh, yo, yes, place all the dragon sword. Let's go. Oh my god, dude, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> so it's time to refer back to this progress sheet. I will definitely uh, be, you know, referring back to this whenever something really important happens or, you know, uh, major drops uh, take place and all that. So in this episode, we got some insane, insane uh, drops. I mean, mainly the Elijah. So it is time to actually fill this in here. It is actually now completed. So I got the Elijah in 968 KC. 
because yeah it was two kills before 970 and uh, today is actually the day before New Year's that I got it so it would be uh, 12 31 uh, 17 right before freaking New Year's dude that's just insane so yeah out of uh, Corporal Beast we just need to get the spectral and I won't be in a rush to get this spectral I'll definitely be doing corp of course you know every now and then but yeah after the 1000 KC uh, I will definitely take it a bit slower with the corp stuff for sure but yeah and I have gotten some rage drops uh, recently none of them were unique stuff but of course you know it's time to uh, go ahead and edit that I already edited the ancestral top and the uh, dragon hunter crossbow but I did get the dragon sword today uh, well yesterday now it's you know the new year's actually happy new year's by the way but yeah dragon sword uh let's change that to number two so i actually have a placeholder for that interesting so most of the drops i've gotten placeholders anyways the spreadsheet is in the description so if you want to look at it you know you can check it out there if you want to make your own copy of course you can also do that as well by making a copy yeah free to use so after going through and editing this video, I realized that I probably didn't really give Elijah the true credit deserves. And uh, yeah, it's just that I didn't really have any real clips that I could make a montage out of with it because, you know, Corp really only has three main drops. So you can't really do anything with that. And at the same time, I didn't really grind that hard for the Elijah sigil to be honest, because if you don't realize, it's a 1 in 4,000-ish... Uh, drop so it is crazy rare so that's why I probably uh, just didn't like freak out maybe I don't know why I didn't freak out honestly but just the fact that I was going in for a thousand corp kills hoping to get a spectral really not even a Elijah because I was like dude it's a 1 in 4k drop there's like there's no way it's gonna be happening you know but yeah RNG always surprises the fuck out of you so what can I say and uh, another thing I need to know is that before Raids came out, Elijah Sigil was basically the most like awesome uh, PVM item anybody could really uh, get. And of course, to have it here on this Ironman is insane accomplishment. Insane. There's no other way to describe it. So, And one last thing before I end today's video. I just want to give you guys a big thank you for watching my videos whether you just uh came by for the first time watching this or you've been here you know since i started this channel and you know took it seriously about two years ago because we have reached an amazing milestone fifty thousand subscribers guys oh no need to subscribe to yourself but that's yeah that's crazy right before new year's as well one of the biggest reasons why i love to make videos is because people come to watch and I noticed that there's more and more people coming to watch this channel you know every day and that's awesome as a content creator you know that's probably one of the biggest motivational sources that you can ever get with you guys on board watching my videos all the time you know I'm always down to make videos you know it's, it's a fun it's a pleasure to make videos I don't really talk about this cheesy stuff much but yeah I gotta do it at least once right so I'm really happy, you know, to be where I am right now, uh, making videos and stuff. So, and I, I definitely will be doing some more of those dank RuneScape videos, you know, on this channel. And so, a cheers for 2017 and onwards to 2018, guys. Because, yeah, I'll be around, you know, for at least another year for sure, man.